Right, we're up at the top of the hill beside the Durris Transmitter of the day. There's a couple of picnic benches up here and they're great for this kind of thing. But first off, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who's subscribed. I can't say much, but I've finally breached the 100 subscribers Woo through the week. And the reward for that was being able to have a custom URL for my channel. So you may have noticed I had to change it slightly. Rural Rambler was taken, so I just had to add on the Scottish bit. So that's why there was a name change to, to get the custom URL for having 100 subscribers. So thanks everyone. So today we're going to make some burritos. Uh, but first off we'll get the water on. And another thanks goes out to one of my subscribers, Wandering J. I've been watching his channel for oh, years now. It's actually his fault I bought my tent. I bought the Lux Hex Peak tent after watching all his videos. But he noticed me struggling lighting the, the stove last week. And he says, when you get yourself one of these clipper lighters. So, got this. So, thanks, Jay. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Need bother. You saved hours. So, that's the water on for the tea and coffee, and we'll get the stuff ready for the burritos. So, for the burritos, what I bought is the wholemeal tortilla wraps. We've got some long grain rice pre-cooked and dun, 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 Carol's mince she made up last night Did you want first mince or rice? Mince, please. Do you know how to do this? <laughs> Have you got a plan of attack? Point with that <laughs> green spoon where you're going to plonk the mince. Mince on here? Oh no. See, you're, that's wrong. What? What you want to do, right, is put your mince here Aye. so that when your mince and rice is stacked there, you can uh, curve that over yeah, and, then and then the sides over. Out. So yeah. don't have it all spread out. No, I'm just going to put a wee bit here. Yeah, make it like cylindrical, like the way you want to eat it. So if I do it that way yeah, and then I would fold say, it in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So some of Carol's mince in a cylindrical form. We've got way too much mince here. That's plenty for me. Now, some pre-cooked rice. And then, I fold in this, like this. That was my plan. Okay, perfect, love All it. Right. So I knew you'd have it covered, love. What we'll do is we'll put a wee bit of olive oil in the pan. So for the olive oil, I used to carry a wee bottle, but the lid kept spinning and the oil went everywhere. So I found this thing. I think Carol got it for one of her perfumes or something. It's an atomizer. There you go. So I've bought it. It hasn't been used. So I borrowed it, put some olive oil in it this morning. Oh. Works like a dream. Perfect. Right. Burrito in the pan. Oh, made the measure. On the ridge, monkey. Right, that's only been a couple of minutes on this thing. So, give it a bash. You ready for this? Yeah. Lovely. Right, hang on. Here's your. Super. I'll eat the other one with my hands when it's cooled down, but it's just too hot at the minute. I'll leave it to cool. That is lovely. Mmm. 
totally healthy as well. Can't vouch for that packet of rice, but everything else. That's a hit. <laughs> My mince is spicy. <laughs> it is. But in a good way. Mmm. That's so good. Is it warm enough? Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't believe it. Doesn't it need to be? Oh, look how lovely. <laughs> it cools down really quick with the air, honestly. Why do coffee and tea taste better when you're outside? Everything tastes better outside. You know what I'd do next time? A little bit of grated cheddar cheese or mozzarella to give it that kind of stringiness. Oh yeah, like you said before we left the house, you took in cheese. Yeah, and then a wee sour cream dip, you know. Mm -mm. Right, so the burritos were a success. The mince was very spicy, it didn't need a Tabasco sauce after all. That's it. So now we're having a cup of tea, oh no, we'll finish our coffee with... What did you go for? Milk chocolate cookies. Oh nice. Sure these aren't on the <laughs> diet. <laughs> but uh, we'll put them on the app in a minute, yeah, won't we? Yeah, feel the them though. That's good, that's it. Cheers, love. Cheers, love you. You still liking your hat? Mm hmm. Cracking, aren't they? Mm hmm. Tillies. <laughs> Worried you a poem I posted? You'll have heard it before, right? <clears throat> the missus bought a paperback down Shepton Mallet Way. I had a look inside her bag. Twas fifty shades of grey. Well, I just left her to it, and at ten I went to bed. An hour later she appeared, the sight filled me with dread. In her left hand she held a rope, and in her right a whip. She threw them down upon the floor, and then began to strip. Well, fifty years or so ago I might have had a peak, but Mabel hasn't weathered well. She's eighty-four next week. <laughs> Watching Mabel bump and grind could not have been much grimmer. And things then went from bad to worse, she toppled off her zimmer. She struggled back upon her feet, a couple of minutes later, she put her teeth back in and said, I am a dominator. Now, if you knew our Mabel, you'd see just why I spluttered. I'd spent two months in traction for the last complaint I'd uttered. She stood there, nude and naked, bent forward just a bit. I went to hold her, since you'll like, and stood on her left tit. Mabel screamed, her teeth shot out. My God, what had I done? She moaned and groaned, then shouted out, Step on, the other one. I like that. Well, <laughs> well, readers, I can tell no more of what occurred that day. Suffice to say, my jet black hair turned 50 shades of grey. <laughs> I'm ears. It's very good. I love her. I'm not convinced this thing works. Mm -mm. Delicious. Oh! <laughs> oh God. It's a while since that's happened. <laughs> Oh. 
Right, that's us all packed up and ready to go home. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. And by the way, leave no trace. Remember my phone. You know somebody on Facebook was asking what they were and they were all saying blueberries <gasps> but actually they're blueberries. Blueberries are American. Hmm. In Scotland we have blueberries. He's a middle-aged man with IBS goes outside to relieve his <laughs> He's a middle-aged man with IBS goes outside to relieve his stress. Mmm.